a quick demo of the uh, real time sql monitor in sql developer i'm using sql developer 20.2 and the real time sql monitor is available under tools but remember you need to have the diagnostic and tuning pack to use this so the packs must be purchased for the target database that you are monitoring so quick demo i have i have a few uh, queries running here you can see like some older queries i'll just show you Okay, this one this is a query which you can see the plan statistics for all the operations and if you click on other it will also show you additional information like row count fan out slot size partitions you can also see parallel query operations for that query parallel servers which are feeding the input so it looks like some full scan and then a summary like a sum or group by operation after that which returns the parallel query coordinator so i am also running some queries on my own this one for example my target table so you can look at the plan statistics i'm loading into a target table from a source table so the plan is currently not available but the matrix you can't see the matrix because it's a very small query but if you take some of the larger ones This is another one with parallel query execution. You can look at the plan statistics. Like this one. I don't have it anymore. It's a, it's a very old operation. So let's look at something more recent. This one. Matrix also shows you for this query. Memory, IO request, IO throughput. Parallel operations, plan statistics. And if you have a query which is quick running and yet you still want to monitor it, you can put the monitor hint here, as I've shown here. Put a monitor hint and it will be picked up by the SQL monitoring operations. So for this query, it's an insert. This is a select. Here I have a select. So in this case, you can see this. I've put a full hint here, but it's actually doing a fast full scan. That means it's telling me that it's not doing a full table scan because my hint is not correctly defined. It's doing an index file for scan here. Uh, in some of these short running ones, you will not see plan or matrix because they're too short to capture, but some plan statistics will be available. For the long running ones, you will see matrix and you will see parallel execution. So if you enable real time SQL monitoring, long running ones, which Oracle identifies automatically will be captured by Oracle. So you can see this is a query here. You can also view the query in detail. Okay, I don't have the plan available anymore for that one, but I could look at the query here. Okay, so this is, looks like some internal query which is, which is using parallel query and if I hover over it, I can see the full length of the query. So there's a group by operation and that's how you have parallel server feeding into other set of parallel servers because there's a group by operation in that query. So you can see Oracle also is internally running a number of queries for its active session history and uh, for uh, AWR basically. So if you have your own queries, remember to put a monitor hint. You can also monitor create statements. It doesn't have to be a select statement. You can capture create statements as well. In this case, this is a create index, which I'm capturing. But these are too short to show me plan and metrics. So here is one where I specified a parallel hint and a full hint properly defined. So it shows me parallel query operations, four parallel query slaves because I specified parallel four. And so four parallel query says, what is the number of buffer gets for each parallel query slave you can see and how long each took. So you can see then may not be equally balanced in terms of load across the parallel query slaves. So, and you can click here also and it shows you this is parallel query execution. 
So this screen keeps getting refreshed. I've set a refresh interval of five seconds. I'll change it to 10 seconds. And scroll down again to see some older ones. So here you can see another internal query, DB is metric. And there's a group by operation. So there's parallel servers fitting into another set of parallel servers because it's scanning and then doing a group by operation. And you can see that parallel degree of parallelism is two. But you have two servers here and then switching to another set of servers. So actually have four parallel query servers operating for this query. 0, 2 and 0, 3 feeding into 0, 1, 0, 0 and 0, 1 and then 0, 0 and 0, 1 coming up again here. So the real-time SQL monitor is very useful to monitor operations which are running, the execution plans and metrics for those operations. I'll pick up a longer one here and I can see metrics. So for this operation, because it's, it's a bit longer, 2.9 seconds, I can see some metrics. Uh, let me see if I can pull up another one. And also on this page, you can see that buffer gets and data type, database time for that SQL execution itself. So this is a very complicated query. It's showing 3.4 seconds, 99K buffer gets. For this step, it, you can see additional information as well. So all of this is available from tools, real-time SQL monitor, but you need the diagnostic and tuning pack licenses for the target database. I am running uh, SQL Developer 20.2 against a 19C database.